tonight here at the center of my heart, I hear the words and the songs that will never depart until the world known, um, until the world knows the story that you would impart and the earth sees a new place to start in the promise never to part. The story you told is a story you told from sunset to sunrise. It's the music of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and we rejoice in heaven's symphony. These moments in quiet and simple ways, as the breath of the angels announce the wonder of days, you are here reciting every breath of thanks and praise, bringing sunshine to our thirsty gaze in the flow and limits of our times. The light seen is a light you have shown. From sunset to sunrise, it's the music of the Father, Son, and Spirit, and we rejoice in heaven's symphony. So baby Jesus, welcome in our midst, glorious in the Father's words and ways we can't resist. For those that you loved and those that you served, you eternally kissed. Your love is there when the seasons shift, in life never to cease to exist. The love known is the love you give. From sunset to sunrise, it's the music of the Father, Son, and Spirit, and we rejoice in heaven's symphony. Nothing, Nothing is quite right until we love you and we are sorry, with a love that is reserved just for you. The story told is the story you told from sunset to sunrise. The light seen is the light you've shown from sunset to sunrise. The love known is the love you give from sunset to sunrise. Nothing is quite right until we love you and we are sorry with a love that is reserved just for you.
Behold, behold, behold God. Your creator God alone is great. Tell about him. Let the cry from every viewing stage, the news coming from countless of voices all over the world be the cry. Behold your God. In this land, 
lives a girl named Mary. The message the Almighty intended for her was one of uncommon distinction, not only for her, but for all humanity throughout these past, present, and future. Wow, praise the Almighty. His thoughts and plans for us are marvelous. The message I brought to Mary set in motion messages for shepherds and wise men and a people who would live for centuries after her part in the story ended. This message is the good news that foreshadows all other messages I have ever delivered in the world. God Almighty taking on fragile humanity as a child born in ordinaries to save humanity and the whole world and to usher in the extraordinaries of his coming
child, the child of the Most High. You're the message and promise of the Lord revealed to humanity. My eyes are beholding your perfection. You are more magnificent than my mind could ever have conceived or imagined. Mary, I'm sure you can scarcely believe your son is right here, fully human, fully real, fully God, the infinite and the finite arms. Yes, my son. It seems like you're appearing to a mortal world has taken too long and all at once when the angel of the Lord appeared and said to me, The Lord is with you. You must have been terrified seeing an angel and hearing the news of the Advent. Worst of all, to find yourself pregnant by the marriage must have been unsettling and scandalous to you, your parents, and our people. Yes, we know our culture is steeped in rules and traditions, but brings severe consequences.
ways of the Most High and fold me in the mystery of His love. His ways are so much higher than I could ever think or imagine. But I know He will keep His promise of eternity for His people. God, all I know is Your love. Yes, my son, your love is enough. You are my story, my tears, the hope of, you, of humanity. I love you, Jesus. You are heaven in my heart.
what jobs we did, but the world will change because you played a special part in the life of a really special child. Mary, when he first told you that you were miraculously pregnant and expecting this baby, was he raging? We were engaged and about to marry in a few weeks, but when Joseph thought I got myself pregnant, he was embarrassed about it. I know, Mary, but I couldn't let go of you. That would tarnish your honor and maybe even harm your life. Joseph, did this bring me to your knees? Did you think of giving up on Mary? Understand this pregnancy? Did you even stop your name from being disgraced? Was that your plan, Joseph? Yes, Mary, I was afraid. I had a simple plan to keep everything quiet, no public whispering. Joseph, you must have thought about divorcing her quietly so that you'd have a chance to hope of hope for tomorrow. Sure, I could not accuse Mary of being unfaithful, and neither could I start ownership of a child. But Joseph, what changed? What happened? Then one night, my dreams were interrupted, and my plans shattered. An angel of the Most High appeared to me and told me, Do not be afraid, Joseph. Take Mary home as your wife. She is telling you the truth. Her pregnancy is from the Spirit of the Lord Most High. And her child is God's child. That night was different. The angel was not a dream. The words I heard were not a suggestion, but a divine instruction. That revelation changed everything. I wrote the message. Baruch Atta Adonai. Baruch Ahim Adonai. Yes, bless the name of the Lord. He guided you Mary from me. The town was about to witness an, unre an, unre an unrepeatable miracle of heaven, but the people were unaware of your presence and unprepared to welcome their saviour. When the town was near, when we decided to be born, you had no place to stay, but you took it on yourself to be strong, and you got everything Mary needed sorted. Yeah, you wanted Mary and her baby to experience the best of everything within your power. You did not stop until you got what was possible for Jesus to come safely. Hallelujah, Adonai. Glory to God. It's over now, Mary and Joseph. We can hear your baby's first cry. He is beautiful and perfect. Our joy cannot be constrained. In this remarkable moment of life, perhaps the greatest moment, you will be united in heaven and earth. Your firstborn child is God's only son. Let me carry you and embrace you with all the care and attention this earthly and ordinary father can give to you. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. Jesus, I don't know what tomorrow holds for me or your future, but here I stand with those you kept to see it singing your redeeming love. I love you, Jesus, forever.
welcoming noise of good tidings to shepherds confiding in their shepherding place? Yes, that made everything change for the human race. Everything fell silent as the heavens rebuked our disgrace, bringing good news of great joy to all the people with blindness grace. <coughs> Too suddenly with a certain rain. Our eyes caught a pinch of the radiance of the Lord's glory in our face. We were terrified as if we were trapped in a deadly maze. But the angel reassured us not to be afraid in our faith, for the Saviour, yes, the infinite Messiah and Lord, has been born in finite space for his people to praise the refuge of his profound grace. From the lips of the angels, we witnessed the flame of glorious praise as they welcomed from Mary's womb the manifestation of grace to heal and comfort and undo that all is to left to erase. Although the birth was a newest and unknown to earthly power, the unseen spirit sings in our flesh in redemption hour and brings our lives God crowned with blessings. Behold, Elizabeth responds with a glad cry, blessing the Lord, for her baby jumps for joy, her king is near and adored, as Mary stands with a call to her soul and all to praise the Lord in perfect accord, and her spirit rejoices in her Saviour more than her spoken word. So let the children sing today with exultation, for the Lord showed mercy from generation to generation. For great things he has done, filling this earth with salvation and making this night a celebration. Sing hallelujah, all you chosen ones of heaven. Rejoice and be glad, you outcast on earth forgiven. And celebrate the one who brings himself to be born and given.
it's great. That gave me a moment to catch my breath again as I sprinted around that hall. Uh, I don't know about you, but I actually think by the end of tonight, hopefully, you're feeling a bit more alive, you're feeling a bit more joyful. So I actually reckon that everybody here could get stuck into that last course that we were singing. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? So I think if everybody could get to their feet, there's only three actions, so there's no excuses. Just follow the lead and we'll just sing through the course a few times, okay? Again, tonight could not have happened without him, and he's gone over and above. 
above, went to spend lots of hours putting songs together, making up music, and um, trying to capture the, the vision that Billy has. We do really want to thank him, and I'm sure you'll agree, he's, he's just so talented, and it just helps to bring this show all together. Um, we want to thank everyone here. Um, thank you so much for coming along. That's what makes it, you know, so, um, so successful for us. We really hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate you being here and for all of your support. Um, we, there were no tickets to come along tonight, but if you would like to donate, there will be baskets, and that money will go towards the um, mission trip that the young adults are planning next summer. So thank you very much for all of the donations that have already been given. But more than that, thank you for being here, for being willing to stand up and throw your hands in the air and praise God along with us. Um, and we obviously want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone on stage here. And I really, truly mean that. They have given up ours every Sunday for the past few months just to really put this all together. They've been learning words, they've been learning songs. And there's really, I was going to say never a complaint, very few complaints. <laughs> um, but really, they, they throw their whole heart and souls into it because they want to serve God and they want to bring glory to him in this way. And also just to acknowledge the children as well, who I'm sure you will agree did incredibly well. And Caitlin did an amazing job of putting that all together. So can we just give everybody here a round of applause? for coming along. We really appreciate it. Please do stay behind for tea or coffee and something nice to eat. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think Richard is just going to come now and close in prayer. Just beforehand, we owe a big thanks to Judith as well, keeping us all um, in, in, <laughs> in June, trying to get run this and bring it all together. Without Judith, she wouldn't this ha wouldn't have happened, keeping us all um, in line and <laughs> on stage at the right time. So definitely a big thanks to Jim. Good evening, folks. May I echo that? That's been a wonderful per performance tonight. Uh, but more than that, it is about putting Christ center stage, about being God glorifying about reminding us of what is the heart of the Christmas story. Thank you so much indeed. It's been wonderful just to get together tonight, to enjoy what has been presented to us, to reflect on those words and those songs and how they speak to us and very much getting us in the mood for Christmas. So thank you so, so very much indeed. Folks, there is tea and coffee and you've already had that invitation to stay. Please enjoy fellowship together. I just want to take a moment to pray with you and to pronounce a benediction and then allow you to make your way to the back and have a cup and enjoy the fellowship together. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your greatest gift to us of Jesus, your Son, who came into the squalor of a borrowed stable, who came into a situation of scandal, who gave up everything for us who came to be our savior who came to rescue us from sin and shame and bring us into your family redeemed restored yes glory and honor and praise is worthy to the name of jesus and tonight we want to go with that ringing in our ears as we give praise, as we give Jesus his proper place in our lives. Tonight, as we enjoy uh, fellowship over a cup of tea, we ask for your blessing. We thank you for those who have prepared what is available. We thank you for all your good gifts to us. And it is indeed in the name of Jesus that we pray, because it is through Jesus that we come. <coughs> It is through Jesus that we are who we are as your people. And as we conclude, let's say the grace together and to each other. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. 
Amen. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.